What's up everyone? MCI here from EDP Studios. Today I want to talk about five things that are holding you back. So thing number one, discipline. You do not hold yourself accountable for the things that you're not accomplishing. What do I mean by this? We all know what discipline is, but really when it boils down to it, Grant Cardone, if you're familiar with him, he says it's going to take you 10 times the action of what you think it's going to take to accomplish a task. So you have to always keep that in mind. If you have no discipline and you're not sticking to what you said you were going to do and holding yourself accountable or having an accountability partner or having somebody else keeping track of your progress, you're not going to follow through with your goals. So you have to be disciplined. You have to stick to what you said you're going to do and you have to be diligent with it to the T. Reason number two, you're not succeeding. You don't have a why or you don't have a big enough why. All major successful people know their why. Why are you doing it? So I want to do it so I can get a Ferrari. I want to do it so I can get a house. I want to do it so I can get feed my family. I want to do it. So those are some reasons, but then dig even deeper into those reasons and say, what? how would you feel if you were able to quit your job and just do what you will have to do every single day? That is your why, because it's going to make me feel like this, because it's going to set my family up for this, because it's going to get me out of a job that I can't stand doing. That should be your why. That should be your motivator for every single time you don't want to do something or don't feel like it, like I talked in the first principle, discipline, those are the reasons why you should be able to continue to go back and look at your why. Why are you doing it? If you don't have that written down, you don't have a clear reason for why you're wanting to accomplish what you want to accomplish, you'll just go back to playing video games and watching reruns of Roseanne or whatever the hell you do. Number three, your ego's in the way. You think you're too good for this, you think you're too good for that. If you're trying to sell a project, sell your music, you're too afraid to DM somebody because you're going to be told no. You're too afraid to put your ego out of the way and let the process happen. Look, some of these things, the reason why I'm telling you these things is because this is sometimes where I get stuck on these things. So this video is just as much for me as it is for you, but these are some of the things that I've learned. So don't let your ego get in the way. Don't think you're too good to try something new. Don't think you're too good to take the next step and, and be told no a bunch of times. You're going to be told no a million times. And there's so many examples out there of successful people that have been told no so many times, but they've mustered it up, set their ego out of the way, and just continue to push through and follow the process. So continue to do that. Do not let your ego get in the way. Number four reason you're not succeeding. You don't have a plan. You don't have it written down. You don't have an end goal in mind. You're just out here maybe posting this and doing that and trying this and dabbling in that. You don't have a set plan of exactly what you're trying to accomplish or what you're trying to do. Do you have the end game in mind? Do you have the six-month goal? Do you have the one-year goal? Do you have the two-year goal, the five-year goal? And what does that look like and how are you going to get there? So you are not succeeding because you do not have it written down and you're just Oh, maybe I'll do this, maybe I'll do that, and then it just turns out you put everything off. So that's the number four reason why you're not succeeding. And the number fifth reason why you're not succeeding, you're too afraid to try new things. You keep doing the same thing over and over and over, and you don't try new things. You don't test new things. You're scared to take action because you think it's supposed to go a certain way. You could read all the books in the world about marketing and building email list and selling beats. There's a million beat selling videos, but if you're not selling beats, if you're not selling your music, you're not promoting your music correctly, it's because you're not taking action to try new things. Because you may have take action and you're not taking massive action. That could almost be a sixth reason why you're not succeeding because you're not taking action consistently all the time. And when you're taking that action, you're not trying new things to know exactly what it is that makes it work for you. Because what works for me and the way I approach certain things will not work the same for you. So you can go around and get all this information, gather it. You can be an info hoarder. And I do the same thing. I, get, I sign up for every email list I can to maybe learn something new because I'm always trying to develop and, and figure new things out. But you have to be able to try new things, execute on it, implement it, see if it works, look at the results. If it doesn't work, try something else. And it takes time. 
So those are just five quick reasons why you may not be succeeding. Hopefully they help you out. I really appreciate the love, like, share, subscribe, whatever you have to do. I really like it. Um, I really appreciate that. It helps me build my page up, exactly what I'm trying to do, just probably what you guys are trying to do. So um, we're on this journey together. All I can say is uh, much love to you guys. Peace out, ExitDoorProductions.com for all your music needs. Check out some of the new products we just launched. They're totally awesome, totally amazing, going to help you guys out. So with that being said, I will drop a link in the video description below. Or in the comments, if you guys want some free beats, some free stuff to help you move along your way for rappers. And if you guys have got any questions, feel free to always reach out to me. So uh, with that being said, much love to you guys. Peace.